Hey guys, it's Chris. So I'm going to review the Bauer 23 foot electric auto feed drain cleaner. It's got the forward neutral and reverse setting here on the handle. It just looks so cool and it feels so cool in your hands. I mean, when I walk into a customer's house, I feel like I've got like a some type of machine gun in my hands and every single person who's seen me use this thing asks me, where'd you get that? I got it at Harbor Freight, guys. It costs 130 bucks. It's one of the coolest top snakes I think I've ever owned, and it's probably gonna end up being my favorite so far. Um, I've owned multiple top snakes, I've owned uh, Rigid, uh, Milwaukee, uh, Spartan, um, Gorlitz, and the other one was Speed. Oh, I want to say Speedway or something like that. Anyways, they were all decent top snakes, some better than others, uh, but definitely like the way that this one feels in my hands the best. I think that this one not only feels the best, looks the best, but it operates really well too. I mean, all drill snakes are pretty much the same, but this one's auto feed feature is just awesome. I think it's so cool. Not only does it look cool, again, guys, it operates cool. It functions well. It, I mean, watch me snake this drain. I left this video, this first one, in real time for you because I wanted to show you, like, what a... Tr I wanted to try and help walk you guys through what a troublesome drain would be like to unclog. So here we go. We've got a Jack and Jill side-by-side -side lavatory sink drain, and uh, it's clogged, obviously, as you can see, and I'm trying to unclog it. What I found in my time and experience, the best way to get down that T that's likely in between these two drains is to bend the tip of the cable into an L shape, kind of like a golf club or like an L. Um, and then you want to shoot it back down there and you want to shoot it slower than before. I mean, you can shoot it fast and hopefully catch it, but you definitely want to shoot it slower than before. And, you know, you'll see in this video, I end up just kind of inching it down, inch by inch. And that's really the best way and the only way to get down those T's sometimes. Those T's, they're just, they have, sometimes the way these guys build these places, guys, they put no directional drain lines in. Uh, they got flat T's straight across. So as soon as this thing, one of the, as soon as that T backs up or the Y, whatever it is, it's going to, you, the plumber who comes to unclog it is going to hit that clog and shoot right back up over to the other side, which is something I've done here now, what, twice? Um, even an experienced plumber is going to have a tough time with the Jack and Jill drains. Uh, I'm able to get this one, and it only, take me, it only took me a few minutes, but, you know, typically... These drains are a pain in the ass, guys, and especially if you're going through cast iron or I'm not sure what the equivalent to cast iron would be in other states if you guys don't use cast iron, but cast iron drain lines are terrible. And, uh, you know, you get the black sludgy stuff and, they, oh, geez, they're just terrible. So here I am, I'm running it and forward. Um... I'm inching my way down on this one, and you can tell by the way the water's reacting that I've already hit this clog once or twice. I've obviously disturbed it or jostled it in some way. Um, I'm going to be persistent here, and uh, in the same situation you should too, and you're just going to keep going backwards and forwards, reverse and forward, until you can finally hear your drain. When you hear the snake, when you don't hear the snake anymore, you know you've gone down that T. Uh, if you keep hearing it and it sounds louder and louder, it keeps coming up on the other side, just keep backing up and go slower and slower, inch your way down, and you'll end up making it down that T, just like I do in this video. Um, and you can tell, like I said, by the way that the drain water is acting, if you're hitting that clog or not. Um, you could tell right away earlier in this video when I hit the clog and the water suddenly went clear. Uh... I'm going to put another small bend in the cable here because um, as you can see, it's not bent quite enough in my opinion. So here in a second, I'm going to put another small bend in the cable and uh, I believe after that I make it down the drain. Um, 
normally I don't snake through the pop-ups like this, but these were both missing their plungers already. Um, that's, this is really the second time I've ever done this. The only other time I've done that, this, through the pop-up like this, with the missing plungers, is, uh, in another clip I'm gonna show you guys. Um, it shows this machine doing that on the box, so, I mean, I guess maybe because the cable isn't super rigid, you can make it through the, the P-traps, no problem. But, um, yeah, normally I would pull the P-trap and run right through the dirty arm or the waste arm, guys. I wouldn't shoot down your pop-up. I certainly, if you have the plungers in, wouldn't disconnect the plunger to shoot down there. It just is going to cause you a bunch of problems. Do not do that. So, uh, your best bet, if you have a plunger and it's not wide open like this sink was up top, you're going to want to pull the P-trap and shoot through either the hard 90 on the P-trap or through the waist arm. So, most most P-traps out here are either glued or hard 90 uh, with a slip joint. Um, so, I don't know how it is in all other states, but that's how it is here. Uh, so, as you guys can see, I'm going to slowly inch the cable down this time. I think I'm pulling it back. Let's see here. What am I doing? Pulling it back. And then I'm going to slowly inch my way down. Oh, wait. I may have gotten the clog here. I'm slowly shooting the cable down now, and you're gonna you're gonna see it when it finally gets there. I'm not quite sure if you can hear it in the video, but I certainly can hear it when I'm there. I know whether or not I'm coming down the drain line or if I'm coming back up through the other uh, side of the sink, the other sink over there, off to our right that we can't see. Any minute now, I'm going to pop this clog. You're going to see everything shoot right down the drain. And that's how an unclogged drain should look. But again, guys, this machine is just awesome. It feels great in the hand. It looks cool. I mean, it scores, it scores points for both. Looking cool, working cool, and feeling cool. I mean, it's not very often you get a tool like that. That works great, looks cool, and feels good to use this thing actually i mean it's just cool i don't know i feel like if i praise it too much you're not gonna believe me so i just want you to try it yourself and you'll see it's an awesome tool i love it we got the clog here guys you can see the water slowly draining down and any second now it's gonna completely pop as i pull the clog boom there we go guys drain is unclogged I am pulling the cable back now, effortless as can be, run hot water, drain's clear, gonna clean up and get on out. On to the next one, guys. So I wanted to show you guys real quick in a little bit faster motion uh, how easy it should be to snake a drain typically. This would be like your typical lav sink drain, just a... Especially if the pop-up's missing again, like I said, this is the only other time I've ever shot down the pop-up. This and the other video. Boom. Done, guys. I mean, that's how easy it should be right there. Uh, again, I would never shoot down the pop-up if it wasn't missing. Uh, don't ever pull your pop-up to shoot down it. Just pull your P-trap and shoot down through the uh, dirty arm or clear your pop-up. Here I want to show you how easy it is to snake through the waste and overflow on a bathtub with this bad boy. Look at that. Look how easy that was. I've got the hair. This thing's draining like a champ now. Customer's happy. You know?